Hi means health informatics and welcome to HiFi which is health informatics in 5 minutes. The video is brought to you by Das Simple team Health Informatics Rapid Design Lab at PHFI Indian Institute of Public Health Hyderabad. Please read the disclaimer carefully and then watch the video. Hi Welcome to video episode number 1 for software demonstration of project das simple in short for disability assessment and support made simple this is a video series in which we will demonstrate step by step how to use the software that we developed for assessment of several types of disabilities the software is best used on an 8 inch tablet in this video episode we will demonstrate how to do the test for assessing upper limb disability the episode will be of four parts and this is part 4 Hope you have watched the previous part 1, 2 and 3 of the video episode. In this video we will demonstrate how to assess the wrist joint for active range of movement first and manual muscle testing next. Please click on the wrist joint to proceed. The next slide shows options for testing the right, left or both wrist joints. Please click appropriately. When clicked all the appropriate tests are lined up automatically in sequence. For demonstration we will describe the assessment of right wrist only. Please click on the right wrist assessment to proceed. Test number 1 is palm flexion of wrist. Please click on the plus icon to conduct the test. The Argon application will open up. Position of patient for this test is sitting in profile view forearm in mid position and hand and forearm resting on table on the ulnar border fingers relaxed or extended position of assessor for this test is standing or sitting at the test site facing patient argon application open on the tablet should be held and positioned as an overlay over the test joint to be measured the center black dot of argon should be positioned on the lateral aspect of wrist joint just distal to radial steloid in anatomical snuff box the red dot should be positioned parallel to metacarpal of little finger and please slide the yellow dot parallel to the radius just shown in the guide image the angle to be measured would be automatically displayed and when you click the save or next button will be automatically captured in the database and the screen for the next test opens up test number 2 is dorsiflexion of wrist please click on the plus icon to conduct the test the argon application will open up position of patient for this test is sitting in profile view forearm in mid position and hand and forearm resting on table on ulnar border fingers flexed position of assessor for this test is sitting at the test site in front of patient argon application open on the tablet should be held and positioned as an overlay over the joint to be measured the center black dot of argon should be positioned on the lateral aspect of wrist joint just distal to radial steloid in anatomical snuff box the red dot should be positioned parallel to radius and please slide the yellow dot to position it parallel to metacarpal of little finger as shown in the image the angle to be measured would be automatically displayed and when you click the save or next button will be automatically captured in the database and the screen for the next test opens up test number 3 is radial deviation of wrist please click on the plus icon to conduct the test the argon application will open up position of the patient for this test is sitting with forearm pronated wrist in neutral palm resting flat on table position of assessor for this test is sitting at the test site in front of the patient argon application open on the tablet should be held and positioned as an overlay over the joint to be measured the center black dot of argon should be positioned on the dorsum or lateral wrist at the base of third metacarpal the red dot should be positioned parallel to third metacarpal and please slide the yellow dot parallel to third metacarpal the angle to be measured would be automatically displayed and when you click the save or next button will be automatically captured in the database and the screen for the next test opens up test number 4 is ulnar deviation of wrist please click on the plus icon to conduct the test the argon application will opens up position of patient for this test is sitting with forearm pronated wrist in neutral palm resting flat on table 
Position of assessor for this test is sitting at the test site in front of patient. Argon application open on the tablet should be held and positioned as an overlay over the joint to be measured. The center black dot of argon should be positioned on the dorsum or lateral wrist at base of third metacarpal. The yellow dot should be positioned parallel to the third metacarpal and please slide the red dot parallel to third metacarpal as shown in the guide image. The angle to be measured would be automatically displayed and when you click the save or next button will be automatically captured in the database and the screen for the next test opens up. Test for manual muscle testing follows. The first test is for dorsiflexion. Position of patient is short sitting, forearm pronated, resting flat on the surface, wrist hanging down. Assessor sitting in front at the test side, his hands stabilizing distal aspect of forearm and other hand provides resistance at dorsal aspect of hand. Assessor instructs the patient to Raise your hand, hold it, don't let me push it up. If the patient has complete paralysis with no movement of the part and contraction cannot be palpated, grade 0 or 100% disability is clicked. If the patient has complete range of movements against gravity and takes full resistance, grade 5 or 0% disability is clicked. Complete range of movements against gravity with partial resistance means grade 4 or 20% is clicked. Complete range of movements against gravity with no resistance means grade 3 or 40% is clicked. Partial completion of range of movement against gravity or completion of range of movement eliminating gravity means grade 2 or 60% is clicked. No movement of the joint and contraction palpated means grade 1 or 80% is clicked. The assessor should note that only one option needs to be clicked and when clicking, the assessor will notice changes in transparency of the clicked area. The assessor has to click the forward arrow in the bottom right corner to go to the next test. The second test is palm flexion. Position of patient for this test is short sitting, forearm supinated, resting flat on the surface, wrist neutral. Assessor sitting in front at the test side, his one hand stabilizing distal aspect of forearm and other hand provides resistance at the palmar aspect of wrist. Assessor instructs the patient to bring your palm up, hold it, don't let me push it up. If the patient has complete paralysis with no movement of the part and contraction cannot be palpated, grade 0 or 100% disability is clicked. If the patient has complete range of movements against gravity and takes full resistance, grade 5 or 0% disability is clicked. As mentioned previously, in between grades of 1, 2 and 3 and 4 are clicked for increasing percentage of disability. The assessor should note that only one option needs to be clicked and when clicking, the assessor will notice changes in transparency on the clicked area. The assessor has to click the forward arrow in the bottom right corner to go to the next test. The third test is radial deviation. Position of patient for this test is patient short sitting, forearm pronated, resting flat on the surface along with hand and wrist in neutral position. Assessor sitting in front at the test side, his one hand stabilizing distal aspect of forearm and other hand provides resistance at medial aspect of hand. Assessor instructs the patient to bring your hand towards body, hold it, don't let me push it out. Grades for this test are clicked as mentioned previously. If the patient has complete paralysis with no movement of the part and contraction cannot be palpated, grade 0 or 100% disability is clicked. If the patient has complete range of movements against gravity and takes full resistance, grade 5 or 0% disability is clicked. As mentioned previously, in between grades of 1, 2, 3 and 4 are clicked for increasing percentage of disability. The assessor has to click the forward arrow in the bottom right corner to go to the next test. The fourth test is ulnar deviation. Position of patient for this test is patient short sitting, 
forearm pronated resting flat on the surface along with hand and wrist in neutral position assess is sitting in front at the test side his one hand stabilizing distal aspect of forearm and other hand provides resistance at the ulnar aspect of hand assessor instructs the patient to bring hand out away from the body hold it don't let me push it in if the patient has complete paralysis with no movement of the part and contraction cannot be palpated grade 0 or 100% disability is clicked if the patient has complete range of movements against gravity and takes full resistance grade 5 or 0% disability is clicked as mentioned previously in between grades of 1 2 3 and 4 are clicked for increasing percentage of disability the assessor has to click the forward arrow in the bottom right corner to go to the next test in this episode 1 part 4 of our video series we have demonstrated how to conduct actual range of movement first and manual muscle testing for wrist joint the results automatically stored in the database the software will guide you to the next set of test at this point there are two options one continue assessment for other joints or other disabilities or second if the wrist joint is the only one to be assessed then exit and calculate the disability score please click the middle diamond icon once to bring you back to the joint index or few more times to bring you back all the way back to the start index in the start index please click on the finish button to arrive at the disability score for assessing other joints and other disabilities please continue to demonstration episode 1 part 3 or maybe take a break and come back to watch thank you for watching this episode project website is www.dasimple.in the project and this video episode was made possible by a grant from grand challenges canada if you have any comments please write to us at healthinformatics@iiphh.org also visit our website www.healthinformatics.in thank you